All right, hey everybody, this is Brother Sean Jolly from Williamsburg, Virginia, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon. Um, originally, when I posted the announcement for the Soul Winning Mega Marathon, uh, there was no meals that were going to be provided, but now, uh, thank the Lord, praise the Lord, uh, Charity Independent Baptist Church and uh, Pastor Bruce J. Hoos have decided and taken it upon themselves to go ahead and take care of providing both breakfast and lunch for soul winners that show up um, ready to get to work. So breakfast and lunch are going to be provided by Charity Independent Baptist Church at the Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon. And for those of you who didn't see the original announcement, um, on Saturday, March 31st at 9 a.m. in Newport News, Virginia at Charity Independent Baptist Church on 39 Harpersville Road, uh, is going to be the Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon. And this is going to be an event that's running in tandem with uh, other Soul Winning Mega Marathons all over the country and now all over the world. There's going to be at least, at least one marathon running in each one of the 50 states. And some of the states actually have multiple Soul Winning Marathons going on. And I also find out that, we're, that there are going to be Soul Winning Marathons running in London, in France, in uh, Scotland, I found out yesterday. In Hong Kong, I found out yesterday. As well as Malawi, uh, with the, the the KJV soul winners that are out in uh, Lilongwe, uh, particularly you know uh, going soul winning in Chinsapo. But um, uh, the Philippines, Brother Richard Symes, and I mean a whole bunch of soul winners that are all over the world that are ready to get this thing done. And um, so, anyways, for anybody who is interested in the Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon. We're going to be meeting at the church at 39 Harpersville Road on March 31st at 9 a.m. And a typical uh, typical schedule for a soul winning marathon. We'll have breakfast from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and uh, fellowship. And we'll get our teams uh, teamed up. We'll get uh, silent partners and talkers paired up. And uh, we'll get our, get our assignments. We'll say a prayer and sing a psalm and a, and a hymn. And uh, we'll head out at 10 o'clock. Now, between the hours of 10.30 and 12.30, we want to be actively knocking doors, getting the gospel to every creature, going door to door and talking to everybody that we can find on the street, giving them a very clear presentation of the gospel, and also taking advantage to ask, uh, answer any questions that uh, any new soul winners may have or any inexperienced soul winners may have. Uh, also a great time of fellowship in between going door to door. At uh, 1230, everybody will cut off, head back to the church for lunch between the hour of 1 and 2. And uh, so lunch again provided by the church and uh, we'll be getting reassigned materials redistributed as necessary. At uh, 2 o'clock again we'll pray and we'll sing a hymn and we'll head back out uh, to you know, wherever it was our assignment was previously, um, and we'll continue to preach door to door from 2.30 to 4.30. At 4.30, we'll cut again, and everybody will come back to the church, and uh, we'll have at 5 o'clock there at the church, we'll have a brief service, we'll have baptisms if anybody needs to get baptized, and then we'll also have uh, men's preaching if anybody wants to prepare a five to ten minute sermon for men's popcorn preaching uh, We'll have that going on there and then afterwards as uh, as always in, in typical fashion We will uh, select a place to have dinner to go informally. We'll be dismissed We'll go and have dinner and fellowship until everybody just gets tired and full and happy and just wants to go home but again um, we want to make sure that we're doing this in the most organized manner possible and we want to make sure that everybody is getting registered and that we, we can expect who all is going to be coming, who all is going to be showing up. So if you uh, want to come to the Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon, there is a Facebook event page. Please look for the Facebook event page for the Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon and uh, register there. Um, let everybody know that you're, uh, let, let me know that you're going to be showing up. If you're not on Facebook, because I know that there are some people that don't do Facebook, please give me a call. My phone number is 757-784-2993. Again, that's 757-784-2993. Uh, or email me. My email address is smjolly at aol.com. 
That's smjolly at aol.com. And uh, yeah, get me with any questions. Let me know that you're coming so that way the ladies of the church that have volunteered their time to prepare breakfast and lunch can know what to expect, can know how many people that they need to feed and uh, what kind of preparations that they need to make. Uh, outside of that, if you guys have any other questions, you know, please get in contact with me. If you're coming to the marathon, please get in, t- in contact with me. If you're curious and you're interested and you've never gone soul winning before, this is your time to come out and shine because you're going to be entering into other man's labors wherein you have bestowed no labor and it is truly going to be a huge and a great work for the Lord God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, my daughter brought to my attention that uh, well, I, I found a video online of, um, of Dr. Jack Hiles. It was a um, YouTube video of a sermon that was uploaded in audio. And in the notes, in the description, it said that there was one day uh, back in the 1990s where there were over 5,000 salvations at, uh, through First Baptist of Hammond, Indiana uh, alone in one day. And the, the video description made the point that never in recorded history had there ever been so many salvations, so many people come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior by believing on His name. Never has there any been so many as in one day except for Acts chapter 2, the day of Pentecost. My daughter saw this, 11-year-old daughter, and she said, well, we're going to break that record. And I didn't know what she was talking about. She had to clarify for me. She said, well, we're going to break that record. I said, what? She says, the mega marathon. And it dawned on me that we're going to have soul winners uh, basically going door to door at the same time all over the country and all over the world. And there really is an opportunity for us to be able to break that record. And I'm excited. You should be excited too. If it's a case if you're not excited, then something's, something's not right. You know, are, are you are you even saved, bro? But uh, you know, out of the babes of mouth, out of the mouths of babes and sucklings is praise to God perfected. So she brought that up. I'm excited. You should be excited. And if you want to come to the Virginia Soul Winning Marathon, uh, Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon, and you're on the fence about it, come off the fence onto the right side of the fence. Who's who's on the Lord's side, right? So that's that's what I've got for today. Um, Sorry my thoughts are not really all together just because I'm on my way to work and I'm trying to do this safely. But Virginia Soul Winning Mega Marathon, March 31st, 9 a.m., Charity Independent Baptist Church. Free food, so come and eat, come and feed, and we'll see you there. God bless.